Vixen, Vixen, there's no Vixen here, and welcome to the next episode of our Pokemon Imperium Let's Play. In the last episode, we started off this brand new game that we are going to do a walkthrough of. Uh, we found out that our dad is a agent that has been kidnapped. We also met the professor of this region, and they agreed to give us a Pokemon. So in today's episode, that is what we are going to be doing. We are going to be getting our starter. So, what are these people doing here? We're all here to get Pokemon. Professor said she'd open it a day earlier. It's a bunch of people flocked from the get together and s sitting in here. Looks like I'll have to wait in this horrendous line. Or oh, maybe not. Psst. Or I guess not. Professor! Shh! Come with me. I'll show you the secret entrance. Oh wow! Dupes on the professor for getting us in. My job is to prepare the scene for incoming horde of trainers by arranging pickles containing starters right here, on this desk. Good luck with that. I'm gonna need it. Come here. Books. If you're a scientist, you must love them. Hey, let me read you something that help you on your journey. To aspiring trainers, don't worry about overliving your Pokemon, they'll be you no matter what. The only thing that changes is the experience gain. Once your Pokemon crosses the current soft level cap, it will gain less and less experience with each new level. There, I hope it will help you. Did you know? You can actually catch any starter Pokemon in the world. They are rare, however. They are very rare. Go see Professor Almond, she's upstairs. Okay. To everybody, just in case. With your sister and father. Yeah, whatevs. I'm here for a Pokemon. Well, for the Pokemon, man. Vixen, why don't you take a seat? Oh, I'm gonna sit here next. Hi. Oh, hello. I'm sorry for the hassle outside, darlings. I have told everyone at the get together while I was leaving that the lab will be giving away stars later today. So this warmed the place. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, so impatient. Now, Vixen, I'd like you to meet these two. They're about to become Pokemon trainers, just like you. Hi, I'm Mora. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Yo, my name's Blitz. Remember it, dog? Bravo. Now, let's get to the Pokemon business, shall we? Usually you'd have the option of choosing a star from one region only. But since you have the indirect luck of being children of good friends of mine, I'll give you the option of choosing a star from any region. And the options from Jordan 7, though. Well, that's so awesome, Professor. Yeah, cool, I guess. Stars from seven regions? Man, it's gonna be tough to choose. It is. No, no, here are the Pokemon. Just pick one that you like the best. In the end, it will not matter which star you choose, but what you do with it. They're all too cute, which one will I pick? Just, I'm picking the strongest one, of course. Go on, Vixen, you choose first. Which we choose right now. For this, I went on my Animal Apps pages and did a few polls in my Pokemon communities on there, and you guys were fabulous over there. Um, So, obviously, I put this into a poll, Fire, Grass, Water, and I'm sorry to say it, but Fire one hands down. So then we get the choice of Charmander, Cyndaquil, Torchic, Chimchar, Tepig, Fennekin, and then now all behold all of you know that watch my youtube channels that Fennekin is my icon and Fennekin is just too cute to me um but <laughs> again i did a poll put this on my animal apps in my pokemon communities they did great again unfortunately though um none of you wanted to see me use tepig Fennekin all in which is fair enough um, Chimchar and Torchic got two votes each. Charmander and Cyndaquil, on the other hand, got three votes each. Now, I have played through, obviously, Pokemon Let's Go, Pikachu. Let's Go, even recently. And, obviously, you get Charmander in that. So, unfortunately, I am not going to choose Charmander. But I am going to choose Cyndaquil, because I haven't used a Cyndaquil in so long. And, not only that, its weaknesses are less than Charizard's. when it's a Typhlosion, so, yeah. I am going to choose Cyndaquil. 
It's in the quill your final choice. Yes, it is. Would you like to give them a nickname? Yes, I would. Are you male or are you female? You are a male, so your name is gonna be... If it fits. Whoops, H. H E P H A E S T U S. Rub the wall of H E S T U S. S. Let's do this. Right, enter. Hell yeah! Pips up your mind! Trico, I choose you. We're gonna be the best team ever. Treat your Pokemon with care, will you? And let me give you a few tips about your, the journey ahead. Boring! No, no, Blitz, this is important. I'm out of here. I ain't gonna listen to your old hack speech speeches. I got my Pokemon to train. Sayonara, losers! Okay, figure out who he is. Amania, my lord. Why did you do this to this child? This excuse Blitz, ever since I've known him as a small boy, he was always impulsive. Tell that. But as I was saying, an epic journey awaits you as a Pokemon trainer. Your primary goal should be defeating gems and collecting badges. If you collect all eight, you will grant access to the Pokemon League. But don't worry your little heads with Not yet. I wish both of you I wish both of you well, all three of you, good luck on your journey. Thanks for everything, Professor. See you around, Vixen. Bye, Moira. See you soon. Now, now, Vixen, before you leave, I'd like to entrust you with something. Like Pokedex. Pokedex attaches to your other devices wirelessly and records and sends data back to the lab. So I need you to agree to this privacy option. Opting out is not an option, I'm afraid. Sh sure, Professor. Thank you, Vixen. And one last thing, you should focus on your Pokemon and your duties as a Pokemon trainer. In the meantime, I'll endeavor to find out, find as much information about your father as disappearance as possible. When I'm worrying for a new piece of info, I'll make sure to contact you. Thanks, Professor. Good luck, Vixen. Right, let's actually take a look at this syndicate, because I like having a look. It's quick natured. Okay, so we've got a neutral nature. Tackle in there. Okay, let's go. Ah, oh, there's people everywhere. I'm hyper, hyper, super hyper. I'll break bones. Okay. You're off. Gosh, I'm so nervous. Which one should I pick? Anyone you want. I want a Pokemon now. Down. Hard to do that with the auto button on. So you got a Pokemon. Now I take this. The more Pokemon you have, the safer you'll be. That reminds me, I'm gonna go pick up some more. Not from in there. From the big mot. I'll just pick up another three for now. There we go. Let's go and see what Pokemon we can find out on this route. Route 101. I'm trying to catch Pokemon. If you want to catch Pokemon, you have to throw Pokemon at But you don't know that. Who do you think I am? Oh. That was a Pikachu. I like how it does the new, like... I'm not gonna speed this up. Oh, I had an orange berry on it. Ah, oh, Stalic. I'm gonna have to go back and heal up. Because of that paralysis. M6, smoke screen. Yeah, let's go and heal up. I think I know roughly what Pokemon I want to use. I want to use Pokemon I've never used before. In like playthroughs before. Or ones that I haven't heard or seen of in a while. 
I'm a pickle train, you are a pickle train, wanna fight? Yes. I think that might have been a crit tackle them. Number seven. Right, right here, right there. Let's go, Pidgey. Process. Six again. Nah, we use one of those like way too much. They get used way too often as HM saves, and I don't want a HM save. Come on. That was ridiculous then. Absolutely ridiculous. I hate paralysis. I've not really used Pancham before. Okay, we're gonna catch this thing, and I might think of a nickname for it, like, off-screen. Of you guys know prequel cool nickname to use for Pancham? Uh, let me know in the comments below. I will also obviously put a link to this download in the, descri in the description as well. It does its best to be taken seriously by its enemies, but its glare is not sufficiently intimidating. Chewing on a leaf as its trademark. Right, let's run back. Uh, no, I don't want a Pidgey. I'm just going to take it out for experience though. Guess level 8. So you want everybody to be level, roughly level 10, I think. I'll have a look at Pancham as well. So we filled up. Let's have a look at him. Rush natured, which ups his special attack, but those are special defense. Iron Fist. Boost the power of punching up memes. Okay, so we want, um... Fire Punch, Thunder Punch, those sort of moves on him. Then, okay, I roughly know what moves I need on him already. Then, um, we'll go in that house in a minute. Let's go down here. Pick a pack. Nope. I'm the plate relay really up. Seeing you way too many times. Playing through those games. Ah, uh, right. Eh, I'm gonna ca hopefully catch this and hopefully that does not kill, because are you of the opposite gender? You are. Right, so love ball should catch you hopefully. I 
I know I haven't used a God of War or anything in a playthrough either, or a Glade, but there's a reason why I want that ropes. Sometimes there are hidden items in the grass. I think I saw one on there somewhere, on this route. What's up here? Yeah, there's a repeller. Right, if we go back to where we just were, there's only if you've caught a ropes, mind you. If you haven't caught a ropes, don't bother doing this. If you catch a ropes, and we go to this house up here. There's a very shady guy here, there, isn't there? Well, if you talk to him, yo, son, I see you don't know me, son. I'm shady man. That's Mr. Shady Man to you. Son, I have a sweet deal, son. I'm trading a rods for a muck chop. It's a very special muck chop. If you have a rods, come see me soon. Want to trade rods for muck chop? Uh, no. No, you meant to say yes. Say bye to rods a minute. For the victim's rods, Shady Man sends muck chop. Shady Man bids farewell to muck chop. It's not an ordinary muck chop, though. Look at that. That is not an ordinary muck chop. No straight, son. Shall we have a look at this new Pokemon we've just got? I will obviously have to nickname him. He is level 2. But look at this muck chop. He is fighting. He is electric fighting. Okay. Bashful nature. He's neutral. He has no guard. He chose attackers by or against the land Pokemon. He knows muck. Punch, Pound, and Low Kick already. Okay, and look at those IVs. He's definitely an attacking Pokemon, okay? And also, in this game, you get told your hidden power. So if we have hidden power on him, he gets Dragon, he gets Fire, and he gets Light. Light, I believe, is a new um, type that they put into this game. So let's go and see what else we can find that I might want to use. Oh yeah, we need to go in the house, don't we? Um, did I, I think I mentioned this in the first episode. This game has a side quest as well, so. Lad, say, are you a Pokemon trainer? Well, yes, I am. And I'm a lass, not a lad. Yeah, I'm a Pokemon trainer. Good, then you can help me ward off these pesky Pokemon invading my plants outside. Oh. Excellent! Trainer, here's the deal. I'll roll the bush with my stick. You stand there so you can tackle Pokemon and jump out. Go. Alright. Hey yeah. I thought there would be like bugs, not birds. That's fine. Okay. There's more. Uh Taylor. As soon as you're level 2 and you only got like 8 experience points for that, I am swapping to Pancham so he can get some experience. He doesn't even fit on the screen, that's hilarious. He doesn't even fit on the screen. Oh, that was a crit. I don't want him to get the experience though. It's fine. I'll do some grinding off screen. And get everybody to uh, maybe eleven. Maybe ten. Well done boy, there's more over here. What's that done? Sixteen from that. Insistent weed, come on. This must be the last of them. And this is a Pidgey or whether it's something else. No, it's a Pidgey as well.
That was the last one. Thank you, Trinity. You seem to have learned something from this too. Plus two. Sometimes gain 50 experience. Level 9. Cool. Phantom gain 50 experience. Elevate to level 4. Oh, this is sweet. Oh, everybody gets. And there's a little something for helping me out. See, potions of 500. Thanks. Thank you for the experience as well for my Pokemon. There's a cave there. Okay, there's a punch arm. Oh, cool. Let's give that to. Give that to you, like, super quickly. And you can help speed things. Anything down here? An Aberrat, normal and fire type. Okay, this is a new, like, fake mon, so we are catching this. I got nothing. A fire badge Pokemon likes to dwell in the more relaxed areas of the forest and is known to be an extremely fast learner. Not for now. Let me go and talk to this gentleman a minute. <laughs> I guess I'll hide this here some for now. Okay. Give him rubbish. A chain break for shiny hunting. <laughs> ah, that's awesome. Let's have a look at this Pokemon. Modest natured. So you are up attack, lower special attack. Fast learner. Gains two times the usual experiment for every battle. Cool. Let's go down here. You jump down the ledge now. Be careful though, I trust my ankle doing that, so I can't move. No, that wasn't very clever, was it? Come down there. Moira? Hey, Vixen! Adorable Pokemon, I threw my Pokeball on her, but she ran away. She was so fast. I'm not looking for my Pokeball. It flew somewhere behind these trees, these bushes. Vixen, can you have longer arms than me? Can you help me? Sure. Oh, cool. Push your arm inside the bush. Are you sure it's here? Oh, here it is. Yes, you found it. Thanks, Vixen. Vixen, have you seen Blitz? I ran into him a moment ago. His print pump was already level 11. And he caught a Pokemon already. I think he's kind of insane. I'm sure glad I didn't run into him. I know, my Trico didn't stand a chance. In any case, we ought to take this seriously. We need to start training our Pokemon. My Pokes, okay, Vixen, I'm gonna go on ahead. There's a Pokemon gym in Calister in town. That's where you should go if you wanna get strong. Got it. Thanks again for helping me, Vixen. See ya. How did you not win? You have a Trico! Right, I'm gonna go back. Are we nearly near the other town though? Oh, we're at the town. I'll go heal here actually. And then we'll go in the little cave. There used to be a very steep ledge on the Route 101, but it looks like they removed it. Oh, no, that. Move on again is something that most people use. Oh, boy, it dropped a Noivat card. Okay. And tiny mushroom. Sounds true. If only you were alone, then form. I might use you. But you're not. Oh, 
I'm Zubat, not using you either. Rough. Again, it's on the moon. Nearly there, nearly there. Oh wow, this is going to take forever, isn't it? There we go. I'm training my Pokemon like a true hiker in a cave waiting for anyone's expecting trainers. Cool. Lower cave. Okay, what's up there? There's another ladder there. Okay, these this is snow. Don't even know if I'm meant to be here yet. Whoa. What is that? That is a Zubat! But in another form. And then my ammo's gonna kill it. What? What is this place? It's cold here, let's warm up with a bell. If you defeat me, I'll tell you a secret. Okay. That is a nice normal. That looks cute and adorable. What's the secret? If you touch touch that stone up there, something really strange happens. Uh, no. Oh, there is. Oh, I want this thing. Don't kill it. An ice type normal. Oh, we're gonna have to wrap that up in a minute, guys. No! No, I want to catch this thing. I want to use it. The thing is, I'm not going to use all my Pokeballs on it though. One more. Sorry. Yes! Oh boy! That was a critical bonus capture. They're often mistaken for an icy rock. It likes cold, icy caverns and snowy mountains. No, but I have some nicknames to think up of, don't I? Clearly. Sassy natured. Okay, Snowflake. Raises invasion and hailstorm. Tackle and bite. 
Okay, Jake, we need to... What? Okay, guys, that's where I'm going to end today's episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys next time on the next episode of Pokemon Emporium. See you guys next time. Bye!